before we get started telling you about our perfect Saturday, mm -hmm. <laughs> here's a smorgasbord. It was a long day. It was a long day. This one didn't tell me until, I think it was pretty late yesterday, that we needed to be at the skydiving at 8 in the morning. <laughs> I'm like, oh, so I knew that we, were, I knew we needed. And we made it down there exactly on time. And we started our course mm -hmm. with our awesome instructor, Danny. One guy, he was there for the first time. He's never jumped. At least I jumped three times. And, and I've jumped once. He, he yeah. was enrolled in the skydiving training course. It's called AFF, and we'll go over that in a minute. But he had never jumped. He had never skydived before. Mm -hmm. He was already taking the training course to be a solo jumper. Mm -hmm. So he had, a, he had a lot of questions. In the, um, in the class because <laughs> he kept asking he didn't even know what it feels like to fall out no. of an airplane so. <laughs> he kept asking the instructor did you do that did that happen to you did this happen to you and thank goodness the instructor said no to everything <laughs> um, they basically said if it happened one time to a person they have to cover it in class even if it was one time like five million jumps ago they have to cover it so basically what this whole class is is aff is accelerated free fall and this is the training course and you can take it many different places mm -hmm. and each place probably does it their own way. But the basics of it is, is it's a course, you can purchase the course from the, um, it's not what do they call it? A, <laughs> they call it a, a jump zone, drop zone or whatever. Well, we're still getting mm -hmm. used to terminology, yeah. but it's an airport that does skydiving, right? Drop well, zone, you do, you yeah, yeah, drop yeah, zone. Well, yeah. you do your skydiving. So this place, it's a seven jump course plus four hours of ground school training. Mm -hmm. um, so basically what you do, you roll in the course, you get on schedule. Um, you can either pay for the entire course up front or you can pay for the course by, um, you pay per for jump. the class and mm -hmm. you pay per jump, right? How much so, did you pay, babe? He did, um, I he paid for the full, entire thing up And I'm front. paying payments. Um, Yours was 1100, 1120. Something like that. Yeah, and I paid um, 180 up front and then 170 for the jump. So 180 for the class. Right. So it was good. I would highly suggest if you enroll in one of these courses, you want to become a skydiver and you want to jump solo, uh, enroll in the course and do the four hour ground school. They are going to go over everything about the regulations about skydiving. They go over, they go over, they, they take the parachute apart with mm -hmm. you. They show you every single part of it. They hang you in like a, a sample <laughs> harness. It's yeah, like that's the parachute cool. harness, but it's hanging from the ceiling and you can pull the cords and everything so you get used to how it feels so the first time you jump out of the airplane just enjoy the experience yep. you know and that's how we both did it mm -hmm. get used to what it feels like to exit an airplane in this in the sky it's yes. quite an awesome oh, experience it's awesome it's magical honestly like one of the most amazing experience i actually felt bad for the boy who decided to do the class as his first jump ever because mm -hmm. you have to focus so much when you're jumping. You have to always, like every five seconds, look at your altimeter. 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 <laughs> always get that word wrong. It's a gauge you wear on your wrist that tells you what your altitude is. And so when you're jumping just for fun, if you go to a skydiving place and you you know pay the couple hundred dollars that it usually costs to do like a regular recreational jump, mm -hmm. the, the instructor is going to go over some basics with you so that he's going to tell you like how to hold position and stuff during your fall but it's very basic and you're mm -hmm. basically just there to enjoy the experience and the instructor takes care of everything in the jump that we did today which is the first of an accelerator free fall instructional jump you got a lot more to think about mm -hmm. you're you're they're running you through the basics of you're you're responsible for checking the altitude you're responsible you for responsible. pulling you're you're pulling the parachute you know so mm -hmm. you've got a lot to think about so you're not as much just relaxing enjoying the experience it's your first time doing it so you're kind of worried about everything yeah like not, <laughs> everything not going dying. on around you <clears throat> well not really not dying the instructor's still there you're worried about <laughs> being the guy that makes it to the ground it has to be like yeah i didn't <laughs> i didn't pull the parachute <laughs> the yeah, instructor seriously. had to do it you don't want to be that you don't want to be, that, be that guy no <laughs> neither of us was that person we, we were we had uh, we had a lot of fun so after we did the course Everybody got paired up with their person that is going to go tandem with them. And then they go over basically what, what are you going to do? And these are the main steps that you're going to be doing. So you basically want to hold here like a backpack, put your feet out, head back. And then when they push you out, you hold on until your instructor taps you and then you release 
And then once you release, they want you to look at your altimeter. 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 <laughs> I swear. That word is so ingrained in me that I still don't, like, it's just not happening. She's been saying it the wrong way all day. Actually, she was technically, all day she was calling it a thermometer. And we all just let her call no. it a thermometer. <clears throat> as long as she, as long as she pulled the parachute with the thermometer <laughs> set 6,000 6, feet. It doesn't matter as long as you know what it is, okay? I got, I got you. Like that, you look and you pull. So we had to practice that three times without pulling, like you don't want to pull. And then you have to pull at 6,000 feet. And that goes very quickly. Yes. Like technically, it's, a minute, I think right? it's around a minute. Yeah. That minute goes by really fast. Um, I think the first time that we jumped when I had nothing to do but just enjoy it, it mm -hmm. seemed a little longer. This time we were focused on, you know, keeping track of everything. Like she said, doing the... Uh, Doing the routines that are there in the jump, checking mm -hmm. the altitude, reaching, Thinking. making sure you knew where the where the pull cord was. You do that three times, paying attention to the instructor's cues, paying attention to your position, and then you're watching the, the clouds today were like right between six mm -hmm. and seven thousand feet. So as we were like passing through the clouds, I knew that I, that I had, is the best. Yeah, that, it's fun. I you're love fun, like, the clouds. I, I was the first time you passed through the clouds. Yeah, I actually fell through a cloud, and so. <sighs> I had seen in the plane on the way up, we were wearing the altimeter on the way up. I knew that the clouds were between six mm -hmm. and 7,000 feet. So I kind of marked to myself that while I would be relying on the altimeter, I also knew that right when I come out the bottom of the clouds, that's going to be right at the 6,000 mm -hmm. feet where we need to, where we need to pull. So those clouds came up pretty fast <laughs> and then he blew, did the correct way. So he watched the parachute open cause you're supposed to do that. So after you, you pull, you're supposed to, you feel yourself jerk. And you're supposed to look up and make sure basically you're not tangled, make sure your parachute fully opened, all the cells, that's what they call the parachute, different parts of it. Make sure all the cells are inflated and you're good. I didn't do that. I was too excited. That did not happen. I was like, I pulled it and I was like, woo, I did it. And I was like so excited <laughs> that I actually like threw it. <laughs> and my instructor's like, no, 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 no. Don't be so excited. Just, just look up. <laughs> And I was just like, oh, okay. We both have one more jump. And then after that, you're I think going to be I need on your three. own parachute. I think I want three. Mm -hmm. They need to give me three. I'm ready to get out of the plane. He's, he's like, let's go. <laughs> I'm like, I need a minute. Like, We're not sure when our next jump will be. Probably another week or two from now. We'll mm -hmm. schedule it up. And uh, that, that'll be the second tandem jump. And then after that, we will start jumping. Uh, not really solo. Like we'll be jumping Next under our own parachute, but an instructor will jump out with us. Mm -hmm. They'll be holding, they won't be strapped to us, but they'll be holding us. And then that way they'll be there, but we'll do everything our own. We'll have our own parachute. Mm -hmm. We'll be on our own power. And then they're just there in case we don't do what we're supposed to do. And right. then they can pull the cord for us. And then we'll still have to land the parachute ourselves. Yeah. And if you guys think it's crazy that after only two jumps, we're jumping by ourselves, there is a emergency chute. And they teach us that first. Like that's the first thing that you learn during skydiving class. So they teach you the emergency chute. We basically let go. So this is the pull. So say you pull and that your chute messes up for some reason, then here you will release. So it's like cutting the line of that chute that's messed up. And then you would release here where it will pull out your emergency chute. So you have two. There's always like he said backups for backup. Yeah, there's always, uh, you always jump with two parachutes, the main and the reserve. Mm -hmm. uh, reserve. And the reserve is always packed by a FAA rigger, somebody mm -hmm. who's certified to do certified. that. And it's sealed mm -hmm. uh, with a lead seal uh, with a date on it. And it has to be repacked every six months. And not only that, it has a pyrotechnic mm -hmm. altitude control de uh, yes. automatic deploying device, similar to the airbag in a car. So it's preset prior to the jump. For a particular altitude, it's zeroed out at ground level, and it's preset. I think they said for fifteen hundred feet. Mm -hmm. So if you were to, for some reason, black out, you were to hit your head coming out of the plane. Spin out. You were to spin out and, too much. and black out. You mm -hmm. were to just falling. That um, device will sense when you pass fifteen hundred feet, and yep. it will deploy your reserve chute for you, and that will you know save your life. So yeah. Overall, it's it's a relatively simple. Follow the steps. Number of steps that you have to yep. follow. 
Mm -hmm. is still that little bit of nervousness. The nervousness is in the plane. The <laughs> yeah. nervousness is is in the plane like on the way up, up mm -hmm. when you're getting close to altitude and you're like you have time to think about the fact that you're once about you're to jump out once you're plane. falling once you're falling there's like, no fear at all. Uh, it's yeah. like just your body gives you that, like that what is that adrenaline life and you're if just not skydiving. Exactly. It's, <laughs> it's, it's perfection. You don't you don't feel you and I don't know if this is for anybody, but for us too. Neither of us feel a shred of fear nope. during the fall. Mm -mm. Um, maybe that would change if something went wrong. But <laughs> <laughs> possibly that would change if something went wrong. But uh, there's, and I personally, like, I don't feel fear once I'm at the moment, like at the edge of the airplane. I feel it more in the plane on the ascent right. up to altitude. And then once it's time to actually get out and I put my feet out the door, I think that's when the adrenaline kicks in, and mm -hmm. then you're just like you, you're like ready to roll out of that airplane. But the little bit of nervousness and fear on the way up is—that's the spice. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's what makes it fun. Like, it is. if it wasn't, if it wasn't terrifying, mm -hmm. you know, then it wouldn't be fun. And it's, it's, it's terrifying to think of. Mm -hmm. And then, but once you actually, the, you know, once you get out of the plane, and and we've talked to other people that were there doing it, and most of them agree that once you're out of the plane and falling the fear and the nervousness is all gone mm -hmm. and you're just in the experience right. and and so we got these today yep. these are these in are, are um, <laughs> log books so just like a pilot logs their flight hours mm -hmm. a skydiver logs their um, jump their their number of jumps and then the in so in these early jumps the instructors will um they fill out like a little entry where they make notes the date time place mm -hmm. what type of aircraft it was um what type of equipment you were using what altitude you jumped from uh and then they kind of write like a little assessment of how you did what altitude you pulled at whether you did a good job mm -hmm. and then that um also goes on to another card which is your level a progression card and um so what we're level trying to get up. to is actually getting certified yep. so actual certification occurs after 25 jumps and those 25 jumps have to have met like all the requirements mm -hmm. that are in this paper here. Uh, so you have to have demonstrated a number of things. Um, we won't go over all those. Yeah. Now. There's quite okay, a number so of things that you have to demonstrate successfully in order mm -hmm. to actually get licensed. So this program that we're involved in, that we've enrolled in, is seven jumps. That will take us to where we're jumping out of the plane by ourselves, but we'll still be student Students. status, yeah. right? We will have to still complete several more instructional jumps and mm -hmm. then several just observed jumps to get the rest of this paperwork signed. Then we have to pass, I think they said it was a 40 question test. 40 question, like yeah. That. yeah. Then we can actually become um, certified sky USPA. Yeah. I'm looking forward to buying my own parachute. I'm looking forward to having a cool suit. I want a whole, like, tight, sexy woman, cute, mm, like, you know, like a whole suit with the little helmet have my logo for the archer's journey on it like that's what i'm looking forward to he wants to parachute and i want the ensemble yeah i'm super excited for uh our journey and you guys being a part of this journey with us and this is the first of many skydiving videos mm. cheers cheers to that <laughs>